I experienced a lot of pressure um, during the badminton season, um, starting with any tournament, um, just going to a tournament and all the, the pressure that that brings with it. Um, so looking, as soon as the, the list comes out for, for the tournament, I'm always looking at the players that I'm going to have to play um, and the, the people I might come up against. Um, so in the back of my mind is always thinking about their ranking and, and where and who they play for and their recent results. So as soon as I walk on the court, I'm always wondering whether I should or whether I'm expected to beat them. So that's always in my mind. And at the same time, you're always thinking about what you're going to tell people when, if they ask you how you've got on and whether you, whether you are expected to win that game or not. So I think when I'm stood on that court, when it's singles as well, when you're one-on-one when you're -on -one with your opponent and you've got in your head the people that are watching you, you've got pe better players watching you, you've got friends, parents, uh, maybe you've got coaches around you as well. And you just know that they're watching your every shot, your every mistake. So every time you miss a sitter or um, you come off from a really a bad result, you just know that they're watching you and you feel that pressure. So I think often you put, I put pressure on myself, I put pressure on myself to win. And I think as well, I put pressure on myself to maybe conform to habits that, that I'm meant to. Um, thinking of maybe a, a team situation, so when I'm competing as a part of a team, a county team, um, your, your, ex your players are expecting, your teammates are expecting you to be, beat a certain player. Um, and if you don't do that, you just feel like you're letting them down. You feel like um, you just feel you're not good enough, you're not worthy to be in that team. And, and I think within that, you feel like you should conform to um, maybe giving or not giving certain line calls or um, maybe being more vocal or being more um, not sporting as you should um, because you're feeling the pressure from, from them on the sideline who are watching your every move. So as a Christian, I, I long to go on the court and think that it's only God's opinion that matters. Often when you're on the court, you're worried about what everyone else is thinking of you. But before a tournament or before um, a match, I'll, I just I try and read my Bible in the morning and just read of God's character um, and try and read of this eternal God who actually he, his opinion is far, far more important than anyone else's opinion. So I try and set myself up in that way. Um, and then even so before a match, I'll be still on the court and I'll, I'll, say, a, I'll say a prayer. I'll pray on on that court and just ask that all that I do would be for God. Um, I long just to have that, that motivation that it's all for him, knowing that I can, I can play freely, I can play in a way which is honouring to him. And it shouldn't matter whether I'm trying to impress anyone or impress um, yeah, my teammates around me. I long to play, play with that freedom and that joy, um, knowing that God's given me these gifts and I want to enjoy them, I want to I use them to honour him. Mm -hmm.